Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an app using AI Studio and deploy it. And in the next video, I'll show you how to connect it with your custom domain. In this video, we're going to learn how to create an AI image generator app, an app that can actually generate images for us. And then we'll also see how to deploy it. All right, let's not waste any time. Let's get started. First of all, we will click on start from template and then select empty. Now for the input, since I want to create an image generator app, I'll simply type create an image generator app. The app is generating right now, so let's give it a moment to complete. While the app is generating, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now, as you can see on the screen, the app has been successfully generated. All right, let's test it out. I'll enter Apple and see if it actually generates an image. And as you can see, it worked. It generated the Apple image perfectly. All right, let's try another one. I'll type monkey to generate a new image. Perfect. It successfully generated the monkey image as well. Now it's time to deploy this app. First, click on the GitHub icon in the top right corner and connect your GitHub account. After setting up my GitHub account, I'll create a new repository. I'll name it My Image Generator, and for the description, I'll write, This app generates images. Click Create Git Repo. Now click Stage and Commit All Changes. At this point, you can pull the repo into VS Code to make more advanced customizations. But don't worry, this is totally optional. You can also edit the code directly on GitHub or even use ChatGPT to make changes without VS Code. Now we're going to deploy this app on Netlify. So let's go ahead and open netlify.com. If you're still watching, that means you're enjoying the content, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now log in your Netlify account. Now click on Add New Project and then select Import Existing Project. Then select GitHub. Then click on Configure the Netlify app on GitHub. Then choose the repo you have created in the AI Studio. Now click Deploy on your repository and wait for the deployment to complete successfully.
Deployment has been completed. Now click on the link to open the app. Right now, the deployed app isn't working. It's just showing a black screen. But don't worry, we're going to fix this easily. All right. Head back to AI Studio and type this prompt. Create a Netlify.toml file. Add Babylon in the index.html and update the code so it uses the API key from Netlify's environment variables. Now click on the GitHub icon to save your changes. Then click Stage and Commit to commit all updates. Now go to aistudio.google.com, click on Get API Key from the left-hand navigation, and click the Copy icon to copy your API key. Now go to Netlify, then navigate to Project Configuration, Environment Variables, Add Variable, Add a Single Variable. For the key, enter API underscore key. And for the value, paste the API key you copied from AI Studio. Now go to Build Deploy Details Options and click on Retry Deploy with Latest Branch Commit. Now go back to your hosted URL to check if it's working or if it's still showing a black screen. As you can see, it's now working perfectly and generating images without any issues. We didn't use VS Code at all. And for further customization, you don't need it either. You can make all your changes directly using AI Studio, GitHub, or even ChatGPT.